Hello all, welcome to the No Mr. Science channel. Before we start this exercise, I'd like to invite you to subscribe and, and know all the videos in my channel. And before you forget, please like this video. So now our exercise is the last exercise I will do about vectors. So the problem is determine the magnitude of the components of force F equal 5. 56 newtons act along and perpendicular to line O. So when a force is acting parallel, that's along or per perpendicular to line O, we're gonna follow some steps. So the first steps, we're gonna find the unit vector that the line that the problem is asking. So first, I'm gonna find my position vector AO, that is equal 0 minus minus 1.5 i plus 0 minus 3 j plus 0 minus 1 k. So here my position vector is equal 1.5 i minus 3j minus 1k. Now I'm gonna find my magnitude of the vector AO. So I have the square root of 1.5 square plus minus 3 square plus minus 1 square. So I know that the magnitude of my vector is equal 3.5 meters. Okay, so to find my unit vector, my unit vector U A O is equal 1.5 over 3.5 i minus 3 over 3.5 j minus 1 over 3.5 k. From this point, we can choose two different options. If you want to use decimals, our unit vector u a o is equal 0.5 for 29i minus 0.857j minus 0.2606k. Or if you prefer to use a uh, ratio for, we're gonna have the unit vector AO is equal. 3 over 7 i minus 6 over 7 j minus 2 over 7 k. And then you can decide which one you're going to use. Both of them we are going to guide us to the right form. Now, our second step is find the line that my, my force is acting. My force is acting on the line AD. So the position AD is equal 0 minus minus 1.5 I plus 0 minus 3 J plus 2 minus 1 Okay, so my vector, position vector AD is equal 1.5 I minus 3 J plus 1 K. So the magnitude of my position vector AD is the same as my position vector AO is 3.5 
meters. So my unit vector AD, AD is 3 over 7 I minus 6 over 7 J plus 2 over 7 K. If you realize the only difference between the unit vector AO and AD here is minus, this minus comes from here, and here is plus. Now that you've, we found our unit vector AD, I can find the Cartesian form of my force, force times the unit vector AD. On the last video, I did the problems with uh, Cartesian forms of the vector following our five uh, our five steps. So my Cartesian form is equal 56. That's the magnitude of my vector times 3 over 7 i minus 6 j over 7 plus 1 over 7. K, sorry, 2 over 7 K. So my Cartesian vector form is equal 24I minus 48J plus 16K Newtons. Now, if I want to find my force along AO that's parallel, that's along. So we're gonna find my force that's along this line here. So F A O parallel. I need to do the dot product between my two vectors. My vector, Cartesian form of my vector F, unit vector, cross product of the unit vector AO. So I have my force along AO is 24I minus 48J plus 16K. And my unit vector AO is 3 over 7I minus 6 over 7J minus 2 over 7 Okay. So to process my dot product, I have I times I, that is 24 times 3 over 7, plus J times J, so minus 48 times 6 minus 6 over 7 plus k with k 16 times minus 2 over 7. So my force along AO will be 10.3 plus 41.1 minus 4. 0.58. So my force along AO is equal 46.8 newtons. Now to discover my perpendicular, we're gonna use our triangle, the concept of triangle rectangles here. So if here is my force along AO, here is my force F, my perpendicular force. Will come from this concept. So we can always write force that's perpendicular AO plus force along AO square is equal my force square. So 
So I have my perpendicular force AO square is equal 56 square minus 46.8 square. If we do our math, we're going to find force AO that's perpendicular is equal 30.7 newtons. This our answers perpendicular and parallel. Thanks for watching until the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the channel.